Calculate Reaction Energy Profile Tutorial. Create a simulation, by navigating to the Job Designer page. Then, open the Materials tab, and choose the entire interpolated set by selecting all five images of the hydrogen molecule in the example list. Then, Open the Workflow tab, and choose the Nudged Elastic Band workflow by selecting it in the list. This workflow can be imported from the bank, if it is not already listed. Now, let us examine the first subworkflow, for calculating the total energy of the initial and final images in the interpolated set. Open the first WASP unit for the initial structure calculation, by clicking it. Inspect the WASP input files displayed at the bottom, they are used to perform a basic total energy ground state SCF calculation. The same input parameters can be retrieved in the second WASP unit, for the final structure calculation. We now navigate to the Important Settings tab, where we set the size of the grid of K points to 1 for both the initial and final image structures, since we are dealing with chemical molecules in this case. Next, we inspect the contents of the second subworkflow. It is used to run a shell script, which prepares the directories necessary to run a WASP NEB calculation. The outputs of the previous subworkflow, on the SCF calculations applied to the initial and final images, are here copied into the initial 00 and final 0N directories, respectively. The remaining intermediate images are put in 01 to 0N-1 directories. Finally, we look at the main NEB subworkflow, and inspect its only unit. Within the WASP input script at the bottom, pay particular attention to the images input parameter, defining the number of interpolated image geometries between the initial and final states. Also, the spring keyword defines the spring constant between the images. A negative value turns on nudging. Once again, under the Important Settings tab, we set the size of the grid of K points to 1, for all intermediate images as well. After that, navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Here, we use one node with six cores on the OR8Q, since for WASP NEB calculations the number of cores has to be a multiple of the number of intermediate images, which in our case is 3. For the first initial, final total energy subworkflow, six cores are not necessary, and hence we set a separate compute configuration with four cores only. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it WASP NEB Reaction Profile Calculation. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the compute queue, for execution. The status of the calculation will change from pre-submitted to submitted, and then to active. When the job is finished, open it, to inspect the final results. The final result for the plot of the reaction energy profile, as a function of the overall reaction coordinate, can be found towards the bottom of the results page. The correct activation energy barrier for the collinear proton transfer reaction in hydrogen, of around 0.2 electron volts, has therefore been computed, as expected. This completes the present tutorial.